All right, and welcome back. Today we are going to work on the Starburst Granny Square, and we are going to assemble these into a nice little bag. Um, some might call it a fanny pack, some people might call it a bum bag. Um, I think that's the new word for it, but the kids these days are calling it bum bags. Um, when I was younger, it was called a fanny pack. So the beauty of this project is that it consists of four granny squares which are then stitched together um, like so. And then there's some finishing that goes along with it. Um, I am using a US 7 or a 4.5 millimeter for my project today. Um, I recommend this one or something larger. I wouldn't go much smaller because you, you want your squares to be the right size for making a bag. Here is the first round. We're going to start with a slip knot. So however is most comfortable for you to do slip knots, um, you can go ahead and do that. Tighten up your yarn. And we're going to do a chain of five. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to look at your chain of five and find the end and you're going to slip into the very first stitch that you did to create a circle. Slip through that one and slip through the one on the hook and you should have a circle or a hole there. Um, now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and this chain start, uh, counts as a double crochet. We're going to go ahead and put 15 double crochets into this circle. This is how you would do that. Um, yarn over, insert through the center of that circle, and pull up a loop. You should have three on your hook, one, two, three. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over again and pull through two, one and two. So that's one, we need to do 15 in total. Yarn over, in through the center, pull up one loop. You should have three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again, pull through two. Go again, yarn over, insert through the center. Pull up a loop, you should have three on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over and in through the center. Pull up the loop, you should have three in total. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so you should have 16 in total. So that's 15, half, 15 double crochets plus the chain that you chained at the beginning. You're just going to find the top of that chain and insert. You're going to insert through the top of the chain, pull through one, pull through one, chain one to secure, and then we're going to fasten off and join the next color in our round. Okay, so on to round number two, we're going to be moving on to what is called the puff stitch. So you are going to make a slip knot in whatever way that you know how, and you're going to join to any stitch in the round. You can join it to any round, any one in the round. This is what I do. I um, just chain one. So we're gonna chain an additional three to start this puff stitch. So the puff, we're going to make a series of tall stitches in the same spot. So we're going to yarn over, insert through the same spot that you just connected to, and you're gonna make a tall stitch about the same height as you would um, 
a double crochet. So there's three on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, insert through again, and there should be five on your hook. Yarn over one more time, insert through the, that same stitch, and here's the last thing you're gonna do. You're gonna yarn over, and you're gonna twist so that this hook doesn't get caught. You're gonna pull one stitch all the way through. Oh, I almost made it. One all the way through. And once you make it through, you're going to chain one just to secure the stitch. There's the chain. We're gonna move on to the next space and we're gonna do the next puff stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop nice and tall. There's three on your hook. Yarn over, insert again through the same spot. There should be five. One, two, three, four, five. One more time, we're gonna yarn over, insert, and pull up a loop. So now we have seven on our hook. We're yarning over, and we're gonna pull through all of those loops and chain one. That's the next puff. On to the next one, here we go. Yarn over, insert through that space, and pull up a loop. There's three, yarn over again, Pull up a one, uh, pull up one, there's five. Pull up one more, there's seven. So pull through and chain one. So essentially you're yarning over, you're doing it three times to get set the seven the seven pieces on your, your hook. So let's do that three times. Here we go. Yarn over one, pull up a loop. Yarn over two, pull up a loop. Yarn over three, pull up a loop. Then you're going to pull through all, all the loops on the hook and chain one. So we're doing that again, like I said, three times. Let's keep going. We have to go through every stitch all the way around. There's one, two, three, yarn over, chain one. Next one, pull up one, pull up two, pull up three, yarn over, pull through all, chain one. Keep going until you get back to the start. Okay, so I have made it all the way around. I did have to count a little bit over that stitch, but it all worked out in the end. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach to the top up here. The top, so the top, it doesn't really matter too much because this is, we're gonna be ending this round, but you wanna find the top of that stitch um, and connect it. We're going to cut that off and then pull this one through. That closes the stitch. We are almost there, so I'm gonna to change to my next color. My next color is light blue. I'm going to make a slip knot. Insert your hook into any of the spaces that you'd like and fasten it off. Okay. So we're going to chain three, two, three. Um, this is similar to the last round that's where you're doing multiple stitches in one spot. Um, but in this one, we're actually going to be doing some part of the finishing the double double crochet stitch a little bit off. So we're going to go through, um, we're going sorry, we're going to yarn over, insert through that same spot we added, we added two, and we're going to yarn over again and pull through two. You should have two on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the same spot, yarn over and pull through two. So you should have three on your hook now. Our aim is five. Yarn over, insert through that same spot, yarn over and pull through two. There should, there's four on your hook, you're gonna have one more. Yarn over, insert through that stitch, yarn over, pull through two. You have five on your hook now, that was our goal. We're going to yarn over and pull through all five. Then we're gonna chain two. One, two. 
We're going to go to the next space between the previous row, that space there where we have the chain, and we're gonna start again. So yarn over, insert through that stitch, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. You should have two on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the the pull through the same hoop. You have sorry, yarn over, pull through two. Three on your hook. Yarn over, insert through that space. Yarn over again and pull through two. There's four. Yarn over, insert through that space again. Yarn over and pull through two. You should have five on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five. Yarn over, chain two. One, two. Okay, on to the next one. This is the same pattern all the way around. I'll do one more with you and then we'll move on to the end. So here we go. Yarn over, insert through there. Yarn over, pull through two, two on your hook. Yarn over, insert and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert through the space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. I have four. Yarn over, insert through this space. Yarn over again and pull through two. You should have a total of five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all five, and then chain two. Okay, we're gonna continue this pattern all the way around, and when you're done, you're, you're going to attach to this starting chain. So I will meet you when you get all the way around. Again, you should have 16 of these petals. So I made it around my circle, and I'm just going to take my work and I'm going to attach it to the top of this cluster with a slip stitch, if I can. I'm going to chain one just to secure my work. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna snip the tail off and pull it all the way through. Okay, my last round, and this is where we start the square, um, is going to be this creamy whitish color. Oh, it's much more yellow on camera than it actually is, but it is more like a cream. Um, and again, we're going to get our hook, make a slip knot and choose any space. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to attach it in chain three. So I'm just going to go ahead. I've got mine in here. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. So we're gonna be doing the granny square cluster all the way around, but in the corners we're gonna have what is called, sometimes called a treble stitch or sometimes called a triple st stitch. Um, so we're gonna start with, first we're gonna start with three double crochets. So there's one, two, three. So that is our first granny spot. Um, we're going to move to the next space that's here. So we're skipping this one and going into the next one. And here's where we're going to do the triple crochet or treble crochet, depending on who you're speaking to. Um, so like it's similar to double crochet, except you're going to be wrapping this yarn twice, two times around your hook. So go one, here, let me get better in frame. We're going to go one, two. You really have to hold on to that so it doesn't slip. And we're going to go into the space and pull up a loop. There should be one, two, three, four on your hook. On your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through two. There's three. You're going to go again, yarn over, pull through two, and then again, yarn over, pull through two. So it's taller than the double crochet. We're going to go again. We have to do three of these. You're on your own twice. Insert through the space. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Again, wrap it twice, go in the space, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we should have three of those done. And now we're gonna chain two. This is our corner. So in granny squares, we need to have a corner, a chain two corner in this case. Okay, um, so in the same space that we just did the treble crochet, we're gonna do three more. So that's part of our corner. Wrap around twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, triple, triple, triple. Or on our hook, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, yarn over, insert, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, the next three spaces are gonna contain um, three double crochets. So three double crochets in, in each of the next three spaces. Here we go. One, two, Three. Next space, one, two, three. Okay, and one more set of three, one. two, three. And now we've come to our corner. Our corner is going to be three of the triple crochets that we did here. Chain two, three triple crochets, and then continuing with, with doubles. So three, we're gonna wrap around twice, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, Pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, yarn, yarn. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Next one, yarn over twice, insert in through that stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Here we are at our corner, we're gonna chain two, and go again with three triple crochets in the same stitch. There's one, two, three. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And the last one, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. The next three spaces are going to be three double crochets in each, so three double crochets in the next three spaces. Here we go. We need to do three treble crochet, chain two, three treble crochets. Chain two,
Okay, the next three are going to be um, three, three double crochets into each of the spaces. We've come to our very last corner of this round. We are going to do the three, three triple crochets, three treble crochets, chain two and three. So three, two, three. So don't forget to yarn over twice before you start. So there's one, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert through the space, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now you're going to chain two, and we're going to do three more of these in that same spot. One, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, we have two more spaces to go and then we will be done with this round. In these two spaces, you're going to do three double crochets and then when you're done, you're gonna to attach to the very first chain that we started. So let's do that. Next one. Okay, so we're going to attach to this top chain, just find the top of it and slip in. And I like to chain one. So technically, a lot of people will stop at this point. So that is the starburst granny square. Um, and a lot of people might just stop at this point. But for me, I like to finish my edges a little bit. So um, if you notice the difference between this one that I just did and this one I did previously, um, what I did is I just went around and I single crocheted all the way around just to square it up a little bit. So when I'm attaching things later, it'll be a little bit neater, it'll be a little bit more like, um, more symmetrical. Uh, however, you could stop at this point and just make it work for you. So I'm just gonna show you how I do my single crochet border around. So I've chained one. So I'm just going to insert into the first stitch and single crochet. So there's one, the next one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in the corners, oh, I've reached the corner. In my corner, I'm going to do three single crochet, chain two, and three single crochet again. One, two, three, chain two is important because that creates the corner. One, two, and then I'm going to go again. One, two, okay. I'm gonna continue down all the way around. In the corners, you can do three, two, three, or you can do two, 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 it's up to you, but I am going to continue the way I like it. So. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I have made it all the way around. I secured it to the very first spot, and I hope that you agree that having the one the single crochet around makes a big difference. I mean, it just looks a little bit cleaner. Um, again, we're gonna be attaching these together. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So to make 
the bum bag to make the fanny pack, you're going to be essentially um, attaching three together at these seams. So however you like to attach it, you could sew it, you could crochet them together, you can do an invisible, um, an invisible join. Um, and then when you are done doing that, this one, at, um, it's hard to see, the ones at the side are going to be folded. So you're gonna fold it over, seam it like this. Oops, everything's moving around. Um, so you're gonna end up seaming them together. You're gonna have one square and two triangles. So grab your border color and two of your squares and making a slip knot. And I'm going to line up my squares starting in the corner. So I re remember we did a border, so my corner is not the big loops here. Um, so because we did because we did the border, our loop, um, our corner is actually kind of hidden. It's kind of hard to see, but it's easy to slip through. So I did that. We're going to pull up our loop and secure it. And I'm just going to do a single crochet along the top for this part of the project. Okay, so I'm lining it up, I'm making sure my stitches are all lined up, and I'm gonna start going along the edge with a single crochet stitch. This is similar to what we did with the granny square bag. Okay. Make sure you're going through both loops on both sides. That can be the tricky part, actually. Just take your time and try and find the, the loops. Go through one, go through two, and secure it with a, with a single crochet. Okay, when you get to the corner, just make sure you get into that corner nice and good. And so I have secured all the way along my edge. I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull this all the way through just to, to secure it. And when I'm done, I'm going to weave that edge in for sure. So here is the first two that are attached. I'm going to attach the next one to this side with the same method. Take a minute and crochet these two together and then meet me on the flip side. Here I have my three squares attached together. I'm gonna to go ahead and flip it over. And before I join these sides, I'm going to join along the bottom. So you can go ahead and do the same thing as me. You can join along the bottom. And then when you're done, fold up this side and seam along this side. And then fo fold up the other side and seam along that side. So here it is. It's not a finished piece yet, but I love it. It is looking so cute. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to crochet a border around the whole opening. So we're going to attach to one of the corners, so any of the corners, um, and we're going to do a half double crochet all the way around until we get to the other side. Um, so let's grab our color. My border color is this cream again. We're going to make a slip knot. And
and join to a corner. Get my yarn in my hand. Join to any corner, any stitch. Um, you're going to attach and start with a chain two. Um, so we're going to yarn over and go through the next stitch, yarn over and go through all three. This is the half double crochet stitch. Yarn over, go through a stitch, yarn over, go through all three, yarn over, go through a stitch, yarn over again and go through all three. And thus we will go all the way around until we meet up back at the beginning and we're gonna be joining here. I made my way around. Um, I did some half double crochet all the way around and then I decided that I wanted my edges to be a little bit taller. So I repeated that last round one more time just to have a little bit more of a border. Um, I mean, you essentially could go as long as you want with your edge, but for me, I think that's, that's a good one. Um, um, we need to make a strap. Strap length is going to be a personal preference. Um, for me, I'm a plus size lady, so I needed to make sure that my strap was gonna go um, <laughs> around me properly, and depending on how you want to carry your bag. So um, definitely go by your own personal size preference. Um, so to make the width of the strap, I did a chain of six, let me get in frame here. I did a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry, a chain of seven. I did a chain of seven, not six. And then I am going to half double crochet. I'm going to skip these two. So skip two and half double crochet into half double crochet into that stitch. So we're gonna have five in total. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So for us, a width of five stitches, and we're going to chain two at the end. One, two. Turn your work over. Find the hole that's at the base of the, the turning chain. So if you look at the turning chain, you can see down here, that's where we're gonna start. We're going to do five across. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five, turning chain of two, one, two. Turn your work and you're gonna repeat the last round, or the last row, until you get the length that you want. So keep doing five half double crochets across me. So we're going to move on to inserting um, inserting the zipper. Um, if you're not doing this, you can omit this step and skip on to the next. Um, I don't want you to be discouraged from completing the bag um, if this is not what you would like to do for yours. So I just kind of roughly marked where I want my zipper. I'm gonna have it between these two places. Um, and I have a, I have a needle and a thread. I'm just going to hand sew it because although I can crochet, I cannot sew very well. It's just going to be easier for me to hand sew this in. So go through and sew that in. Make sure you attach to the other side in the same spot. You can move your markers to the same spot to help you. I'm going to do this off camera or else you are going to be sitting here for a very long time. So do your very best, stitch it in. Or again, if you don't want to do a zipper, you can omit that part, put a wooden, put a bead or something there, and do a chain of 10 on the opposite side um, to secure it to the other side. So I'm okay, so there we have it. I have a zipper. It is not beautiful. Um, 
I've got my hair in this project. It's not a beautiful installation, but look, woo, very good. It works, it's functional. Um, don't look too closely at my my sewing skills. Um, there's a reason this is crocheting club and not so not sewing club. Um, okay, so the next step, and I think we can do this all by ourselves. You don't really need to watch me do it. Um, what we're going to do is take our long handle, and this might be an individual um, DIY installation. I've seen people using um, hardware, like bag hardware, to attach a hook and a toggle sort of situation on the end here and then have it connect with hardware but I don't have that hardware and I don't really want to go and get it and I think that I can I can just sew it in so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to close up this hole I'm just going to use a darning needle and I'm going to sew over end and then I'm also going to be inserting um, I'm going to insert my my strap there and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of line up my stitches I'm going to sign line up my stitches here and these five stitches here and I'm going to sew that together with this technique you could have just um, done your strap directly on the bag but I wasn't sure what I was going to do and um, this is called crafting. It's not called perfection. So um, if yours doesn't look like mine, if yours looks better than mine, if yours looks worse than mine, um, it doesn't matter. Like we're this craft, I would really just like to enjoy it. Um, sitting in my home, watching TV, um, making a nice bag that you can use. Like imagine going on a bike, a biking trip and needing a bag for your cell phone. Like this is perfect. You don't need a backpack, you don't need a purse, it's just like a sling bag. It's small enough um, to just carry what you need and not have that extra bulk. So okay, I think that this is the solution for me on attaching my ends. So I've got this sewn on. I am going to then, sort of awkwardly but not too awkwardly, um, fold this over. And I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to fold this over. I'm just going to sew over the edges of this and do the same thing on the other side. So when you get to the other side, do the same thing and we'll compare. Okay, so here is our finished pro project. Um, I have taken some time and I've over sewed the ends here. I over sewed a little bit of that zipper at the end as well. Um, on both sides and I've secured my um, my strap. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you have made your own and um, like I said it's not about perfection. It's about learning and having community and I really appreciate you so much. If you got to this point and you've created something with me please like and subscribe and please join me again for the next thing. Um, so far we've done a bucket hat, a fanny pack, a scrunchie, and a granny bag, like a granny square bag. And I can feel a trend coming on. It's all about retro this year. Um, so I'm ready for summer. I can fit my cell phone in there. Um, I, I'm recording on my cell phone, so I can't show you. But it's definitely just just big enough for uh, maybe a little wallet, change purse, and your cell phone. If you didn't do a zipper, remember, just do a chain of about 10 right in the center, um, and then ha attach a button or a bead on the other side to make your closure. I kind of do love the zipper part, and that was out of my comfort zone, so I am so proud of myself, and I hope you are proud of yourself too. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one.